Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. And I'm Dan. We're playing Couture today. From All Play. This game plays three to six players. So thanks to Dan for uh, joining us, because otherwise we would not get to play it on stream. All the games. <laughs> I mean, we got to play all the games. <laughs> and the box play time says 20 minutes. Probably take a little longer than that, but not a whole lot longer than yeah. that. So thanks to All Play for sending us this copy of Couture. Uh, but they didn't send it to us in exchange for this video. They sent it to us because they know we like to play all, all the games. games. That's, That's your cue. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at this game. And I can talk about all the, the rules. rules. Michael. So we have a promo set. Um, normally you will place... These New York, Paris, and Tokyo cards on the table where you see these great big chunky tiles. You will play, just play one of these cards here and one of these cards over here. Notice I also have these cards in my hand because every player is going to start with a pair of these cards. However, with the promo set, they provide these really nice dual layer cardboard boards. Yeah, I think all I think it might just be a thing. Kickstarter copies came with. I'm not sure though. It yeah, not sure because this you can get them on the website. Oh, I, I think the Kickstarter copies might have come with them. I'm not sure. Oh gosh, I haven't gotten mine yet. Uh, through any fault of all play, just because of other issues. So there are also bonus tokens that come with the game that uh, are a little smaller than the really super nice looking promo copies. That's actually, let me get the right one here. That one is, oh yeah, that's the third place one. Boom. Look at that. It's so shiny. It's so shiny. Look at that. that. So cool. So on the back sides, they all look the same. It's just that one is a little bit bigger than the other. Now, the shininess actually causes havoc with the uh, light correction on our cameras. So we are going to play with these all face down. But you can see where all of them have the really cool shiny backgrounds mm -hmm. on them. They're lovely. See here, um, also things like this. See the little... And it just gives it a lot more pop than the smaller bonus tiles sure. without the without the pretty shininess. So um, all of the bonus tokens go up here at the top. Then you're going to shuffle up all of the cards and place three of them in New York, three of them in Paris, and three in Tokyo. Each player will receive a... A uh, pair of city cards. In addition, we will have four model cards. Each of the models, I believe, are are fairly the same, with one value three, one value two, a one, and a one. The differences okay. are the tiebreakers numbers. Yes. So you'll also notice these little numbers here. These numbers are going to be used for tiebreakers whenever uh, two of us have. Uh, the same sort of bid. And that will happen quite a bit yeah. in this game. So um, this game is going to be played over a number of rounds until this deck runs out. Um, how many rounds is that? I cannot. Nine times seven is 63. Seven rounds. Okay. So um, we are going to behold what is in each of these cities. And then we are going to sort these cards in our hands so that we are putting some number of cards in New York, some number of cards in Paris, and some number of cards in Tokyo. So if I were to go with my hand like this, I would basically be uh, bidding three points in New York because that's where I've placed my city card. Everything to the left goes to New York. Everything between the two city cards goes to Paris. So I've got another three points in Paris and one point in Tokyo. You don't have to bid anything for a city 
For example, I could go three in New York, four in Paris, and none in Tokyo. But if I don't bid anything, I can't win anything. So, uh, you're going to arrange the cards as you like them. And then uh, we will start by revealing our bids for New York. Usually I will do that by taking er the New York card and everything to the left of it. And then I'll do the same thing with Paris. I'll take the Paris Tokyo card and everything to the left of it as we announce our bids. Mm -hmm. So let's say I did three. Let's say Steph also did three. So we're, we're what we're going to do is we're going to compare. Uh, let's say Steph did a two and a one. Go ahead and give a two and a one. Two and a one in New York. Yeah, so we're going to look at our numbers. I've got a 36. I Steph has a 17 and a 26. You're going to take your single lowest number, and that is the number that you're going with. Lowest number has priority. So uh, Steph would get first choice. Uh, then I would get second choice. If Dan did not put up any cards... Steph would then get third choice. I would have to take it. You would have to take it, even if it's something that she doesn't want. For example, flops. We haven't gotten to those yet, but keep in mind, you don't want flops because those are going to be worth negative points at the end of the game. So um, let's say that neither Dan nor I bid in New York. Steph would have to take all three of them. Yep. So that's how that works. Um, so um, let's say Dan had put up a negative one card. Well, that's even lower than nothing. However, this is actually a bid and will qualify for third place. If you place it, even if it's a negative number, it's still going to give you something. So um, then we're going to move on to Paris. Put up however many that we're going to bid for Paris and then take these cards. Notice that some of these cards in black, they are going to either add to or replace the cards that we are bidding with. Um, if you will notice a card like this, it's going to be a three-point card, but when you uh, take it into your hand, uh, at the end of this round, you're going to have to take one card and discard it, one of your uh, bidding cards, and discard it. And it's three value for bidding, not three the, points at the end of the game. The, yeah, it is not points. Mm -hmm. The point value is in this starburst. Everything with the starburst, as you can see from these bonus symbols, those are the uh, bonus points at the end of the game. So uh, you might take something like this minus one card. Well, why in the world would you want to take the minus one card? Well, it's going to give you two points if it is in your hand at the end of the game. Notice it's got a card plus. This card, you do not have to replace one of the uh, bid cards that is in your hand. This adds to it. Here's the catch, though. You must play all the cards in your possession every round. So that's going to take away one somewhere um, in your set. So... Um, you will notice uh, that there are different types of cards out here. There's streetwear. There is ready-to-wear cards. There uh, are uh, haute couture cards. Those are going to all be worth points at the end of the game. Whoever has the most haute couture symbols at the end of the game will get seven points. Second most will get five. Third most will get three. Um, keep in mind that there are Five singles and five doubles of that. And if there's a tie, lowest one. If there's a tie, then you always break with the lowest mm -hmm. number. Uh, Streetwear. Uh, notice that there are letters in the upper corner. Now, they're always going to be worth points, but if you can get both matching A cards, of which there are exactly two A cards, then you will, if you are the first person to match two letters, you will take the streetwear first place uh, bonus token immediately and get five points. Uh, second place three, third place one. Um, there are A, B, C, D, and E, and there are two of each. So you want to be fastest 
to get the streetwear out. If the same person makes two matches, can they get two of those? That is correct. If you have double A's and double C's, you can get first and second place. Awesome. Um, flops will have this thumbs down symbol. If you have the most thumbs by the end of the game, you're going to get minus five points. Second most, minus three. Third most, minus one. Uh, and that uh, is at the end of the game. The flop cards, uh, there are six flop cards uh, in the in the deck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, last but not least, the ready to wear is a set collection uh, thing. If you have three uh three of the unique symbols of which there are five they are down here at the bottom there's one that looks like an h one that looks like a an upside down v uh one that looks like an o crown looking thing one that looks like a w and one that looks like an x if you can get three unique it's worth uh three points i gotta take a look here no Sorry. One unique is worth no points. Two unique is two. Three unique is four. Four unique is six. All five symbols, which is really hard to get, is eight points. And there are two from each brand. So those are also hard to get. Uh, the last thing that I want to touch on are the bid bonus cards if i can find one here notice this designer with that gives you a two bid if anything in that city has this handbag on it which is uh for the ready to wear things as you can see here on this ready to wear card if anything in this city has a handbag on it this is going to be worth four points not two uh and here's the thing. You don't have to take this ready to wear if you win the bid. You could take one of the street wares if you mm -hmm. wanted. It just has to be present in the city. Okay. So those are super helpful. Uh, take let you see what the flop looks like. It's one of these that has purple with the big thumbs down. Don't be caught wearing a flop. I believe that is mostly it. We're going to play through all of the rounds. You're going to return those... Uh, your portfolio bid cards to your hand um, each round. You're going to discard each round as needed, and we're going to repeat the process seven times. That's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any questions? No, it's going to be a, a nicer game with three players than with four players, because with four players, people are going to get shut out of these things. So well, yes, that's it. You only put out three cards. Always three cards. Yeah. Right. So with six players, it's like even more. You have to be more aggressive with what you want. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Understandable. What letters are on the green cards that are out there? A, B, D, and C. And E. A, B, C, D, and E, two of each. No, there's no, no, there's, no there's no E out. There is no E out. I, I didn't know if you were asking what out or what. I, I can't read the letters. Got you. A, B, D, C. Very good. Thank you. And we have an upside down V and an X for the ready to wear. Sure. Sure, sure. sure. All right. Sure, 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 sure. So you do a cut to an intro or to a start. That's it. And that's all. That, We're done. Only if it's a long rules teach will we go to a cut. Okay. I'm just the first day. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that was only 15 minute teach. Don't know what I'm doing. Here. All yeah. good. I don't know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. Well, I know exactly for, what you're doing too. Good for really? you. Oh, that's awesome for you. You must be very proud. Of you. I am. Proud of you too. I have no idea if anybody voted for me, but that's cool. Shiny. Looks like Firewind voted for me earlier. All right, I'm good. All right, going to New York. One. One. Two. It looks like you get firsties. Yeah. Great. I'm one under you, Steph. Do I know what I want? No. I get last pick. <laughs> uh, give me the top green card. Top green. I'll take ready to wear. It's wrong. How is it wrong? Whoa. Because she wanted it. I don't know. Yeah, she, they're the equivalent. And just being they're equivalent. Being this just goes it. No kidding. This goes his face up in front of me. Yes, that is correct. Right. Next. So, three. Two. Five. Woo! Wow. Okay. Do I want that one or that one? That's a good question. You tell me. 
I'll take the the bottom negative one. Whoa. I'll what, take this. Um, what, the, what I was planning to take that, and I'll like it. Yep. <laughs> Last but not least, three points in Tokyo. Three. Three with a 36. 33. You're first. All right. Do I want to go all in? I'm getting pairs of these things. Increase your chances of getting that five points. I know. I was thinking of doing the Haute Couture, but uh, there is that too. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to ready to wears. I guess I'm going all in on that. Now. We take these back into our hand. I have a decision to make because I have a three that I've pulled into my possession. Here's the yeah. catch. I have to get rid of something. Do I get rid of a, a one with a lower tiebreaker number, which is nice, or do I take? Uh, do I get rid of the two? Definitely don't need to get rid of the three. I think no. I'm going to get rid of one of my ones. Very good. So I keep mine. You do get to keep yours because you have a plus card. Ooh. Yeah, seems nice. There's that one with the handbag. And in Tokyo. So what's this? That is just two points. Two points, editorial, nothing. And this is... That's a two point... To discard uh, something? Yes. Yes. And sorry, what's over there in the left column? Uh, two. Uh, it's a two bid with a plus two handbag bonus. Yeah. And obviously, you have to get rid of a card yeah. for that. That's a two point, but a two bid one point, right. which is an easy replacement of another this two card. This is like the card that Steph just got. That is just and like what one. letter is on that green one? A B. Who has the B? That's and Steph. Me. Hi, Steph. Hi what? Uh, hi. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I don't know. Those are some good bid cards. It's early in the game. I don't so, know. I don't know. I don't know. She doesn't know. Nope. She doesn't know. Oh, I think I do know, actually. I got you. I think you do know. I think you do know. I think you do know. I think I want to do that. Changing my mind. All right. All right. So there's a big old flop right there. Huh? Our first flop of the game. But not the last. But not the last. Okay. I'm planned. I am not planned. Okay. I think this is good enough. Okay. All right. We're going to New York. One. A lot. Five. More than that. Yes. What do you want? As if I didn't know. I guess I should take the sneaker. I mean, <laughs> it's not it's not really what I want, but I'll you take get it. Get a five point bonus. Yeah, so it's six points. It's hard to pass that. Uh, I got to take the handbag because it fits my plans of world domination. I will take what's left and I will enjoy it. Yeah. Paris. Uh, five. Nothing. Nothing. You get them all. Wow, I want them all. <laughs> That's actually not horrible. But I have, if I could have got them all, that I would be great. Flush. Yes. If I bid negative one, I would have got the second one. You would have got the third one. Mm -hmm. That would have been ideal. Yeah, I thought about it. And then last negative one. one. Four. I am Four wins. First. Um, I get last pick. You do. And I'm going to like it. Are you? I think I will just take the editorial for two quick points. Which one do you want? That's a great question. Yep. Probably not that. I'll take this. I'll take this. And then right, I, I have to get. Something. I have to get rid of a card. Well, I think that's an easy decision. My The two with a 20 on a tiebreaker replaced the one with a 19. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's that would be an easy choice. <laughs> That's a pretty easy call there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a four bid card. Minus two points. With minus two points. It's right. so tempting. What else we got? A lot of flops. I like it. Oh, I get one bit. All right. What's this? 
Three bid. Three bid. Kill a wow, that was a Fine. lot of flops. What is going on? Flops it. Zero, but it's an extra card. And a low tiebreaker. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I really don't know. Yeah, I really don't know either. So I'm going to go with that. Okay. I am still considering. It's sure to work out in my favor. Oh, yeah. I am pretty confident. It'll be great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll be... I can see how this gets crazy with six. I'm curious to try it, though. Uh, yeah, I am too, for sure. It'll be different. I think I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. New York. Minus one. Minus one. What? Seven. I pick before me. Dang. Do you want? What are the two cards there again? I'm sorry. A four bid negative two or a zero bid one point that you just get to add. Basically, it's just a point and it's a four tiebreaker. Yeah, I'll take the zero. Steph? Great. Going to Paris. Two. Three. Four. No. You're going to get a flop because I'm not taking. How about the four? All right, and here we have a three discard a card or another zero. Uh, so I think I may have enough zeros. To... I'll take the zero, not the flop. I'm flopping. I'm flopping this one too. Three. I guess five. Four. Yep, I'm flopping this. Oh, uh, I got this. nailed. All right. I so I nailed. I have to go. So I think I'm going to get more bid cards. Or I'm gonna well, get stuck this is a huge mistake. I thought for sure I'd be in the middle of somebody. But you guys turned around on New York that I did not even recognize. I didn't see that train coming. I mean, that's fashion for you, man. That's, that's a great really world. A <laughs> horrible cool. world. It's very cruel. I'm going to keep the minus two and just hope for the best. I'm going to... Use this three to replace three with thirty, replace two with twenty-eight. So let's call that a plan. All right, it's now what's good? Hey, no, oh, there's one flop out here. That's eh, one flop. Hardly worth worrying about. What's in the first column besides editorial for two points? Mm -hmm. Another four bid minus two and a two bid one point. I see. Sure, this will all work out for us. No, 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 I'm wrong. No, not wrong. Not gonna work out. Uh, we'll call this a plan. Plan. It's a plan. Ready. Yes. I'm sure. Right. Five. Negative one. A lot. More than five. You. I'll take editorial. Whoa. I'll take what's left over. Uh, what, do, what do I want? You're going to like it. I think I'll just take the point. You can indeed get rid of this if you don't want it. Yeah. You can choose to kill it. You can choose that that is the one you kill. Yeah, I probably will, but I'll wait and see. Kind of Next, I side. got... Five, seven, negative three. one. Um, I guess I will take none of these have come out, so it doesn't much matter. Um, how many hook couture symbols do you think you need to like guarantee first? I have no idea. Five. The other day, we, we had four players, so it's hard to say. I'll take the hook couture, I'll take the leftovers. Whatever that is. It's a, one of these. Fashion. Fashion. All right. Nothing. Four. Six. 
Well, he gets first and third. And set third. <laughs> Damn it. That. <laughs> that almost worked really well. And then it... I've been there. All right. I am killing this one. Uh, I, I need to actually it. kill mine before I start filling these out. Mine should be easy, though, because I'm replacing a two with a two with a point on it. And it's a lower tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. That's an easy choice. Dan's fifth haute couture is up, and his sixth and seventh haute couture. I already is have up. five. Well, there is that. Um, what are we looking like on streetwear? This is E coming out. Do not have I need A and D. This is the first E. Yay. <laughs> the What's first shabby E. If if streetwear comes out, it's worth extra too. Sounds great. Okay, this is a planner, I suppose. Mm hmm. Okay. So we'll turn it and hope for the best. Sure. Uh -huh. Same thing as the purse, but with sneaker. Yep. All right, I think I'm good. Okay. New York, three. Minus one. Minus one. I have a Whoa. great tiebreaker. Of three. Not oh, fine. I'll and take a couple of haute coutures. All right. What do you want? Obviously. I'll take the haute couture. Even I probably yeah. It's probably too many, but I don't really want that other card here. Don't. Yeah. don't. Okay. Six. Seven. Seven. Ooh, Eight. Take what's left 20. over. Uh, I will take this. That's well, for sure. Have it. And last but not least, three. Two. Four. Oh, I get mid pick. I need at least two different symbols to get any points for that. That's correct. Two unique is worth two points. Well, I might as well grab two more symbols. And Dan has six. Oh, I get this. Basically guaranteed. I get this. Uh, yes, you did. You don't have to keep it, but you have to take it. I'm throwing it away. And then. For this card, which I am keeping, I'm throwing this one away. That's one of my original cards. I don't think I got any. No. Oh, there's five doubles, five trip, uh, five doubles, five singles. So there's fifteen total. Still think six is probably good. All right, what letter is on the green one? Uh, e. Who took the E? Going for it. This is nuts. Really, the A's? And, yeah, those are taking a long time to come out. Is there only one more round after this? I think so. I guess they're both That's not correct. That. That's kind of sucky. It's kind of sucky. <laughs> <laughs> Happy now? No. I really don't know what to do, so yay! Consider panicking. Yes. Excellent. If I do that, that's clearly got to happen. Four. All right. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Fine. I mean, what could go wrong? Many things. Sure. Uh, 
We've gone back and forth three times on this card. Yep. Mm. All right, let's just do it. Okay. Five. Seven. Negative one. All right, I will take... I'll take that three. Middle one, yeah. Go. Okay. I will take the hook at your in the hopes that maybe I could sneak in. Yeah, probably. I don't really see that many doubles. I'll take whatever's left, and I'll like it. Liking it. Or not. We'll see. Okay. Nine. Four. Not a thing! Damn it. <laughs> You're gonna get a flop over here. <sighs> Which one do you want? Okay, no tour. Made a lot for it. Well, I wanted this, but you now he's got. He's tied me on that. So. I'm winning it. There, there is winning what? The Haute Couture. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna take that card. He's not taking that card. If I take the Haute Couture, then he wins. We're currently tied. I wanted this to keep it away from you. There's okay. another single out there. There's another single Haute Couture. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Well. I'm, and I'm that keeps it away. I'm hoping. I guess I have to take the pink. Probably. I'm losing this game pretty bad. Seven. Um, three. 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 With a tiebreaker. Snatching this for points. And I have to replace a card. Last two round. I have to replace. I I have no original cards left except for my three. Do I want to replace that? Let's see. Make sure I'm right. One, two, three. Wait. Do I have my original? Yeah, there it is. I'll replace my original three. <laughs> Here come the rest of the streetwear all at once. Yay. All at once. So what's where? In no terms of letters. W. There's the single yeah, that yeah. remains uh, zero, but one point, and it's an ad, so it's just a point. Yeah. Uh, a point, and it's letter D, which yeah. you have. A point, and it's letter C, which Steph has. Yeah. A uh, point, letter A, which I have. Dan has. Uh, there's only two more streetwear things left. There's a flop. There's two points. Sorry, A was in the middle column, though. A is here. A, no, sure. D's D's in the middle column. A is here. D is here. C is here. Gotcha. Big fight. Oh yeah. This might take me a minute. This is gonna be easy. Well, I'm happy for you. All. I have to use all these cards, huh? Yeah. Sucks. Well, you picked them up. Yeah, well, you know, mistakes are made, all right? I guess. Yeah. This is going to bite. Oh, but that's like not even good. Oh no. Has not oh no, it's not even good. No, not good. Stuck. Stuck with it. Okay. Shoot. Well, I guess I did this for this tribute. Are you all done? Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. I guess I'm done. All right. Six. Six. Twelve. All right, William. You're going to pay that much for it. I have, I've had 14 over here, but... All right, I have three in a tiebreak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'll take the top one. I'll take the free one-pointer. This is a free one-point. Sure. Negative one. Six. Eight. I'll take the C, obviously. And I take the other one. And I ditch this. 
I didn't want the one to clog this up. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. And then I take it all, I guess, for negative one. <laughs> yeah. It was worth it because I only take the flop, which is minus one point, I think. Yes, that so. is correct. All right, so... So I get first place in Hoka Tour. Dan gets second. Steph does get third. Bill deserved. Flops. Dan gets first. I get second. Steph gets third. Does, do you do have a flop, don't you? Well, that's why it was worth it for me right. to take all of it. And then can I see the score? And then ready to wear? I've got a full batch of eight. I've got three of them. In case we need another one, there is the other one we have here. All right. Not worth it. Uh, also, don't forget your points yeah. on your portfolio cards. Those cancel. All right, I have a ton of points. I have points. I do not. I mean, I have a score. I just have tons of points. I have 14. That doesn't sound like a winning score. What'd you get, Michael? 17. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, and 6, 22. Holy 20, crap. Uh, 22, 25. What? These cancel. 26, 27, 28. 28! Okay. And you have all of yours are ad? Holy I mackerel. Had a ton of ad. Yeah, you did. Yeah. That's good. Good job, me. Wow. Ed to editorials for the win. Well, yes. we tried to get them, but they were also yeah. paired up with flops. Yeah, Dan Dan took those flops from me and I managed to get I got a couple you of flops. Like, under a couple like, of times. Stuck in there. You I like it. I'm fairly no good at it. <laughs> That's couture. I am also a little bit shocked that that happened. I got some streetwear for days. Uh, yeah, that that was the yeah. One for me. Should have focused on that more earlier. Wow, it, that I did all right. Uh, yeah, I did a lot more than all right. That was couture. I, I, I thought it was pretty cool. I like. That you're using these to make three bids, your hand, and then you have to use these And you cards. have to use them. But, and then with more players, we've also played with four players, you, you really have to be aggressive because some people kept getting shut out. And so it's like, well, I really wanted that. So I bid like almost all my cards there and well, knew the, when to do that. The interesting thing is that sometimes you want to be shut out. You know what I'm saying? And the, yeah, these are original. These are basic set. Yeah. Cards. They should have a different back on them. Well, no, because then you'll see what people are bidding. Well, yeah, all right, sure. I, I get that. And it, it is true. Sure, yeah, it's a really nice card game. Uh, uh, this is, uh, I, this was not even on my radar. No. And re I really enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. So, uh, we were hit for me. Yeah. Um, In a small box, too. Very small. So, yep. so really good. I, I like bidding games. Uh, so, for me, it's a lot of fun. And uh, like hopefully it. people get to check it out. That is Couture, uh, and if you liked this stream and you want to join us again, we are uh, we stream on Twitch every Wednesday and Sundays at 5 p.m. Central um, at twitch.tv slash boardgamerstuff, and uh, yeah. Where we stream three games every single stream, or yeah. more. Yes. And so hey, come join us on Twitch, where we play all the games. And uh, for those on Twitch, we will be right back. On the couch.